What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. I'm gonna go on record as saying in the near 2000 videos that I've done at this channel since early 2018, this has got to be the one that I think might be the weirdest. And really, I didn't even wanna do this video, but I've gotten so many DMs on the back end of this initial report, you guys asking me to weigh in. So I am gonna do this, maybe not in my normal format, because I won't be sending this audio to my editor. I'm just gonna tell you guys exactly what I'm thinking off the cuff. So the headline that's being generated here is that Jeff Loveness has weighed in on a rumor and he didn't confirm nor deny the rumor that he's left Avengers 5 while he was doing it because the new rumor is what he was addressing. Literally about an hour or two ago, maybe even earlier this morning, it seems as though a Twitter scoopster came out and tweeted that Jeff Loveness was a leaker, or rather running a second Twitter account or being an access point for leaks on Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, leading to instantaneous speculation. That's why he may have been fired from writing on Avengers 5 King Dynasty. That is absolutely nonsense 100%. Now, Jeff Loveness himself actually replied to that tweet saying, I never leaked anything that's bogus. And I can't even believe he did that and dignified it with a tweet. He, do not expect him to weigh in again. This is just some random internet scoopster saying this, but it's not even confirmed that he was fired from Avengers 5 in the first place. Now, if you missed the initial report, there were rumors from industry insiders about two days ago that Jeff Loveness had departed the project, not writing on Avengers 5 King Dynasty anymore, prior to the writer's strike. But there was no news given as to why, and it wasn't said that he was fired, rather the initial source of the rumor said that he left the project. I had yet to update you guys because I asked around with a few sources that I have, and what I've heard, even though this is strictly rumor territory, and I know all these scoopsters are gonna go now run with this, is that it actually had to do with a extreme change to the schedule for the rest of the multiverse saga, stretching the Avengers films out possibly even two or more years from their first announced release dates, changing the window and the size of the scope of those projects drastically, which led to him departing the project of his own volition. Now, while he did come out and say these leaks were bonus, he did not at all acknowledge the rumor that's been going since Saturday that he was either fired or left the project. And I, again, don't expect him to do that either. This wasn't a confirmed rumor in the first place. But to think that a Hollywood writer would take to a second Twitter account to leak information about the script that he worked on is absolutely asinine. It is beyond, is literally beyond ridiculous. It's almost borderline insane. This is his intellectual property, his art. I make music and would be absolutely devastated to my core if my songs got leaked before they got released, even though I know that in this day and age, in 2023, leaks are what actually add to marketing. And I've got some friends who are high level record executives and managers who actually encourage leaks, who have actually on purpose leaked songs for their artists. And we're talking about artists signed to Columbia who have millions and millions of listeners. And perhaps Sony themselves went ahead and did the whole Spider-Man leak in 4K for Andrew as we were leading up to Spider-Man uh, no Way Home. It is a possibility that those companies were actually running on purpose leaks, but that is something completely different than a guy who writes a script for Marvel Studios taking to the internet to then somehow leak the details of his own script. That's ridiculous. There's no reason anybody would do that. And he's also a Hollywood writer. This is the top of the top. Look, I think too casually, especially in the media these days, it's so easy for people to hate on things, believe in things. And I have tried so hard at this channel to separate fact from fiction and tell you guys exactly where we're at. No matter how many times I remind y'all to take everything with a grain of salt that doesn't come from Marvel Studios, our imagination likes to believe the stuff that we hear. We know that only 1% of the stuff posted to 4chan is actually gonna come true, but for that 1%, we stay excited and we're willing to read through the fan fiction in the meantime. But when it comes to someone's livelihood and their actual career, I just, I, I you know, I, I cannot actually believe that anybody, A, would leak their own Hollywood script or details about it, or be someone in Jeff Loveness's position would have anything to do with Twitter scoopsters and the rumors that pop up online anywhere. 4chan, Reddit, Twitter, regardless. Now you guys do know that publicly there was an issue legally with Ant-Man because someone was able to take the digital release of the film that had subtitles, rip those subtitles into a text file, and then upload that as a script to one of the Marvel spoiler subreddits that has since been erased from the internet. And you know, it's one of those things where they have been investigating it and trying to find it, but I, I just I just think to myself, 
the fact that anybody would connect A with B. Now listen, this is way different than having proof of something, but some Twitter scoopster who's barely known on the internet implying that Jeff Loveness leaked his own script is beyond ridiculous, and I just hope that everybody uh, who's at least a part of my community has a skeptical enough mind to, to not buy into something that ridiculous uh, just because it's said. I'm going to come out and say it. I really hope if you watch my channel that you would not believe something as ridiculous as that. I have already, I've already received so many DMs for you guys who are skeptical and I appreciate it, but just come on. There's no, there's no way. There's actual no way. There's literal no way. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, I love you guys. Leave Jeff Loveness alone. If he's not writing Avengers 5 anymore, it doesn't matter. He wrote the Vat of Acid episode on Rick and Morty. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It's singularly maybe one of the best episodes of television of all time and certainly one of my favorites. And in and of itself is almost the perfect vignette of a roller coaster of emotions uh, leaning on the pantomime and the ridiculous. And honestly, if he never writes another thing, God bless that man and protect him. Seriously, I'm, 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 I'm standing as hard as there are. Jeff Loveness wrote uh, and has written some amazing stuff and I'm sure has a career ahead of him writing some amazing stuff regardless of Marvel. And then just to be a human and, and have some empathy for a minute, guys, can you imagine if for some reason he was writing Avengers 5 and it wasn't his choice to leave and he actually has been removed or they did tell him he couldn't write anymore? Just be a human for a minute. You were writing what could have been one of the biggest movies of all time and now you're not. If that is true, it probably feels like shit. Get off his back. Get off the writer's backs. All right. I'm going to go play some poker in Vegas. If you're here, holler at your boy. All fires rehearsals in a couple of days. I love you guys. See you all in the next one. Peace. Peace.